Hey everybody, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. It's finally turned uh, quite warm here in good old Richmond, Virginia. And I'm in my sunroom and it's been a crazy, crazy hectic day, but I'm determined to get a little bit of art done. I saw a really cool little video by Marima Small Art. And I wanted to just give that a go today. Um, I think that we've all kind of seen the shaving cream and food color marbling thing, but um, I don't have shaving cream. And the video that I saw uh, Marima do, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing her name, used glue. So I, I have a little bit of, of just some, the bottom of a bottle of Island's tacky glue. And I want to, I just, I really did want to, um, to try this. It, it looked so cool. I'm not sure how I can spread this out. But anyway, put a little bit of glue in here. And what I'm using is just a, uh, is a, uh, uh, the top of a quart jar. And that seemed to, I cut some inchy, some twinchies, two inchies. Uh, out of some watercolor paper. So that's what I'm working with right now. Now the idea is to drop a few inks. Now that's what she did. She not she dropped a few inks in here and I'll put a, a link to her video in the description box below. So let's drop a few inks in here. These are old inks and I, I don't have a lot of Ink. So there we go. That's pretty just by itself, isn't it? Looks like something in a petri dish. <laughs> All right, now I'm just going to drop just a few. These are old, old, old Adirondack alcohol inks. I have had these, goodness me, a very, very long time. And let's, let's just this is food coloring and I don't know how that's going to exactly work out. Now she did this a couple different ways. She she did it like this. So let's let's just drop this in. I, I haven't tried this. I just watched the video last night and just found it crazy intriguing. And I thought it would be something fun to do today. So I'm dropping my twinchy down in there. And let's, let's see what happened. Okay, she suggests pulling it out. And then I'm going to put that over here. Because what we have to do is we have to scrape the glue off. And then you get like a textured, marbled-ish looking thing. Okay. And that's, I mean, that's nice. Um, Scrape a little more glue off and see what happens. Oh man, okay, there we go. Here it comes. Oh, that is interesting. There we go, y'all. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's very cool. Uh, the next thing that she did, Marima, I'm just going to call her Marima because I, I dislike saying she did. <laughs> next thing was to take a brush and kind of swirl everything together. So we'll kind of see how this one turns out. My glue is super sticky. Like I said, it's the bottom of, of a container of tacky glue. All right, now let's put this in. And I am gonna, I'm gonna kind of press it down this time. I, I laid it in last time and then use the tweezers to raise it. But this time I kind of, I pressed it into the glue and ink mixture. So, let's see what happens now. Oh, it's sticky, sticky, sticky. There we go. Ah, uh, okay, that looks cool. I'm gonna let it dry for just a minute. And then I'm going to add a little more glue in here. I think it's this, a fun thing to do with like the end of a, of a glue bottle, you know. 
Marina used some Mod Podge, but for me, Mod Podge is one of those things that that's that's at a premium here in the old Sunroom Studio. So I don't use a lot of I don't use a lot of of store bought Mod Podge. I mean, um, also forgot to get some water. I can't rinse anything off. Okay, let's let's do it again. I don't want the other one that I did to dry too much. Let's see what happens. It is quite pretty. I think it would be neat if you had like different colors. I do have some some green food coloring. I'll drop that in and see what that looks like. But the food coloring is not quite spreading out, you know, like the ink. So I'm gonna do this all together. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to put this one in. And then I'm going to scrape this one off. Let's see how that works. And remember, this is the one that I've let set for just, just a bit. Wow. Neat. Oh. Gosh, neato, neato, I love it. Look at that. That's, that's super cool, y'all. All right, now that's the one that I let set for just a little bit. Can you see? That's the one that I let set for a little bit. I think that one turned out really good. And this is the one, I have too much light. And this is the one that I did not let sit for very long. All right, now. Got one over here. I'm going to take one more out. This is the one that I kind of let set in my top for just a little bit. Let's turn it over and let it dry a minute more. What a fun thing. I, I don't have shave cream. I'd like to try it with shave cream, but I don't have any shave cream right now. I have to turn this light back on, y'all. All right, so we've let it sit for just a minute. This is sticky, messy fun. It sure is pretty. Look, it's even like really pretty when you're scraping the, the glue over a piece of desk paper. Very nice. All right, let's take this off. Wow. That desk paper is going to be awesome. Okay, I, I see that what happened here was it like kind of picked up a little bit of texture of the watercolor paper. Can you see that okay? All right, so we have one that we kind of dipped in the mixture of paint and I mean glue and uh, ink and then we have one that we dipped in glue and ink and then we let set for a minute. I kind of like that one best. That really the marbling looks great on that. And then this one we kind of let set, let sit in the in the glue and the ink. Kind of let it set for maybe two or three minutes and then we plucked it out and scraped it and that's what that one looks like. So what a fun thing. Kind of like, um, you know, sometimes when you art, you just need to play. And that's, this is my play for the day. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this whole video. I will put a link to the original video in the description box below. If you like what you see, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, y'all. See you soon. Bye.